tutorial I'm just going to show you how to quickly create a custom shape cross design very basic custom shape cross design but just go over here and select the rectangle tool just make certain it's the shape option I'm going to go with the fill black and I'm just going to quickly add that basic vertical line there so just select that and hold the alt key down so you can duplicate it it's the same size as the other one just going to rotate it around just drag it up there now if you want to actually resize it so it's not that long so I'm just going to reduce it a little bit now I can select both of the shapes just go over to the layers hold the shift down and select both of those shape layers and now just use the alignment I want to just line vertically so right so it's just dead center there now once you've done that just go up to the edit and ah of course define custom shape is not available so first thing you have to do just go over to merge shapes so you've got the shape merged there and now you can go over to edit and define custom shape and there you have it saved as a custom shape once you've actually done that of course you can now just go over here to the custom shape tool just select that or of course you could be uh, you could use the same shape file if you save it as a CSH file in Photoshop elements as well so that's a, obviously the current custom shape first thing to do is actually select the one that I've just created so it's there just select that one and that can be added and of course you can add it in any color so just add multiple shapes and of course you don't have to actually design them exactly like that you can also always design them slightly more unusual so you can go for rectangle rectangle tool there so that select the shape option that's the shape and you can just go and just add maybe a slightly thinner custom shape and again just select the two shapes and then just go layer merge shapes and of course if you want you can actually go merge shape components and then just go to edit and define custom shape and again saved as a custom shape hope you found this